and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 new mods and we have got quite a few mods today we've got a bit of a flashing going on in the cab here you move it down it's all right and then you move up it's glitching out a little bit so let's go to the mod hub 10 mods one update so let's start we got the lizard gp140 sp bk and that's by peppy978 and this is lizard gp blah 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 trailer transport caller tracks two axles twin wheels capacity 129.00 quintals weight 3800 length eight meters Oh, so they are quite large at trailers by the looks of it, but looks like we've got a couple or there's a few configurations there. So that's the first one. Then we go on to the Kurnan Kur Kurnland Tarup 107. And these are new tippers, like what we've got for the sugarcane. They're like the sugarcane trailers, a smaller version of, and what is it, 14,000 litres it says there, but you can link them up as well. And then we've got the Joskin Transpace 8000 by STV Modding, and that's similar to the others, but I was surprised on the capacity, I would have thought that would have been a larger capacity, because the one we've got at the moment is, is it 30? But well, we'll have a look at that. Then we got a new small chipper, Hazmat HM4300, and it only needs 30 horsepower. So, nice little bit of kit, and that's by Ben Steer. And then we got the Crone Easy Cut F by Lucas Puma Hunter 4987. So, that's a new mower to go on the front and see how wide that is. oh it is working with three meters and then we've got a slurry container for the IT runner and that's by Nico Pixis it doesn't say how much it is uh, how many liters it holds and then we've got a solar plant by Shabba FS, so that'd be interesting. 1.2 million to buy. No, it's not. What am I about? It's 120,000 to buy. And easy mode 560, normal 420, and hard 280. Alright, so we'll see how big that is. And then we've got a new K barn, my mugged. To Gurnbar. This cow shell with dimensions of 40 meters by 20 meters and attached pasture. Also dimensions of 40 meters by 20 meters and can accommodate 40, uh, 200 cows. Then we've got a new shed by Gamer HZS. A simple placeable shed for vehicles. It's quite a large one. And then we've got the garage with workshop trigger and this is by Moose Agra this is a placeable garage windows roof door are already mounted to the garage the workshop trigger is also there and then there also is an update and it's corrected the description not being very entirely correct increased solar height to prevent collision yeah because it was quite low uh, with the larger impl implements added anti-collision red night light added the occlusion area added collision to gate of the unloading area the power of the silo gates has been intensified a little bit okay all right well we won't bother looking at that there's too much we got 10 other things no map disappointing i really did think there was a map because there's two of the maps have disappeared again uh it's the Giants Island 09 had disappeared and the Farming Legends one and I thought they might have been here for today but no that's your lot for today oh that seemed to stop as soon as I disconnected
Right, so first off, we have loads of, well not loads of trailers, but quite a few different trailers to go through. We've got the Joskin Trans Space 8000. Now we have got one of these in the game, but this is a modded version and it's minus nine slots and it's 31,000 litre capacity, which I think is a bit small for the size of that trailer, personally. But yeah, detailing as ever, absolute bloody amazing. You have got a lot of color choices on here. It's 35 grand to buy, which is the same as the other one, so it's not any cheaper. And it's 1,785 pounds to lease. But the 31,000 litre capacity, I was surprised. I thought it would be a little bit more than that. There's no hitch on the back for hitching anything else up, but it has got the rear wheel steering to help in those reverse in tight spaces. But yeah, it's a nice mod. You have got choice of Nokians, Trailborgs and Michelin tires. And you can, there are wide versions as well. Let's turn the light on. So I can't remember which ones these are. These are the knockins. But yeah, very detailed mod. It looks proper job. And I've also brought out the red one. As you can change the you got the main colour, which is 800 quid, which is this the chassis bit, and then the design colour is the tipper in the red there and then it's got your rim colour as well now there isn't a huge amount of colours on these there's only a few so yeah we're they're the colours we've currently got available and that's the main colour which is the chassis colour you can see it's the orange bit on there and then we've got the rim colours which there's plenty of different rim colours loads of choice on that 300 quid for that and then the design colour which is the tip of it and there's quite a few options on that I like the way that with the black where the Joskin is highlighted uh, around the outer that's pretty smart I like that if I can get this camera is crap it just zooms in they've got inverted axis on it but yeah and there's all the different tyre choices but you get the Michelin's and you get wide tyres as well on the Michelin's and the Nokians you just get as Nokians. Trailborgs, you can have them wide tires. But yeah, nice trailer. So let's go and hook it up and make sure it works okay. So it looks like we've got the hoses going on and they've done a tidy job of that now this it does say it carries most items a huge amount and let's have a look wheat barley oats canola soybeans corn potatoes sugar beans sugar cane seeds total mix ration chaff wood chips silage grass hay Straw, fertilizer, manure, pig food, lime. I think it takes everything. Pretty sure it takes everything. Put a oh, put a bit of weed in there and see if it's registering up the thirty-one thousand, which it should. Got our indicators going on. It's got indicators on the sides. No, it hasn't. And then we got a light in. Oh, I, d I didn't see the beacon tucked in underneath there and your reverse lights cool so animation wise for tipping let's put the help window on actually because I th think yeah this one is just a rear tipper so you've got the tip side back or you've got the grain door
It's surprising how slow some of these are and then others are super quick. But that is, uh, that's going up high, that's got to be 45 degrees nearly. And it's still emptying without me having to drive forward, or is it? No, it's making the noise of emptying. But it's slow. And finally, so we've got the tip side back. That's a bit better. It was probably just, well, it's the speed of it going up and down, which is uh, that animation on the door is pretty, pretty cool. I like that. So that is the Joskin Transpace 8000. And moving on, we've got the Kronland Tarrup. Let's turn that off. And these are nice little trailers. £6,500 to buy. Now the £6,500 is for this model. This model has got the 8,000 litre capacity. When you've got the extension pieces, you can go up to, this is the 10,000 litre with that little piece on there. You can see it's not on that one. And then you've got the 14,000 litre, which is this one. It's like six and a half grand to buy the cheaper, uh, the smaller one, and th 331 pounds to lease. You've got choice of colors for extra grand and rim colors are uh, 100 quid i did like the black that shows up that yellow pretty cool now these trailers will link up so you can put as many as you want and i had a little go with them earlier and they seem pretty pretty stable didn't have any major issues with them So let's connect the last, this third one. Now they got the f four trailers we got here. They've all got the different tire configurations where you can go, go up. I think I've got the smallest or the one next up. Jump out and have a look as soon as I've attached this. Yeah, yeah, that's the smaller one there. And they are the 1715, 260 1715.3 and they are, yeah that's the widest, no it's not, that's the widest, no it's not, that is the widest, that one there, which is the 455, 75.5 on the rims, so yeah there's three different choices if you want those. But they haven't got any lights on. It's just your basic trailer. Now these will show you how they untip. Well, we'll probably have to move. Oh, it will let us tip these because we can actually, it's not on the tip trigger. So yeah, quite smart by, oh, sorry, wrong button. Quite cool when loading. A nice little versatile trailer uh, you can do all wood chips in this as well so the great thing with stuff you link up you can have this and you can put a chipper on the back so what's it going to take wheat barley oak canola soya beans corn potatoes sugar beets sugar cane seeds tall mix rice and chaff wood chips silage grass hay straw fertilizer manure pig food lime that's everything again Oh, well, we didn't put any in, did we? Let's put some in. 
All right, that's uh, I've had that on this trigger before. Where you fill it up and it like what? Why is it saying wood chips for that? I wonder. Let's have a bit of straw in that one. Yeah, and it comes up separately like the other trailers. Whoa, that is a full load on there. Wow. So that's the 14,000 and then we got the 8,000 of the wheat. And these normally, you can dump them out pretty quick normally. So let's have a look, which one have we got? We go for the middle one. This action cannot be formed here. So it doesn't like it too much. It's not going to dump the whole pile out. It's one thing about farming simulator. If, you know, in that real life, it would just dump the lot out, bang. Not say, oh, you can't pull that out there. See, it looks a lot more material now it's come out. It's a huge amount of material. But it works does the job now this is the yeah it had a let's just disconnect that on there and the bit I couldn't find is basically on the controls you've got that button there which does your tilt which is left and right on your right analog and then this side we've got up and down ah I remember what it is now I remember just remember what it is because it was like what what's that all about then and basically unfold auger did you see that that's for when you tip in makes it a bit more stable and then you can extend it I think that's what it was saying in the mod hub just to, to make sure it makes it a bit more stable that is glitching a little bit it's sliding to the right hand side there yeah it doesn't like it when it's up too high but surprisingly that just dumped that all that 8,000 just in one pile where the other one it was a massive pile that's strange There you go, so that is the tarot. And you can use this for an auger wagon or just a trailer. You can do whatever you want with it really. It's quite a versatile little bit of kit. Right, so moving on, we have the chrome easy cut. And I think what we'll do is we'll Yeah, and they hook up like that, see that's that's cool. Well it's a little bit low on the back there, but it works. That's the main thing. So yeah, we have the crone easy cut. And here it is. 19 grand to buy 969 pounds to lease and it is minus 17 slots um excuse me uh, 3.1 meters wide so it is a, a fair old size it's a little bit wider than your tractor basically nice detailed mod now it did say about the swath sheet and basically you've got the swath sheet here which I th they got it around the wrong way where they said if you don't want a swath sheet it was an extra 2500 and if you wanted it it, will, it didn't cost you any extra money where's the other one there it is there when you see the other one it will just cut the grass and not put it into a swath whereas this one will put it into a swath and that's an extra 2500 pounds that is you do only need 70 horsepower to run it 
but obviously with a smaller tractors if you pull in implements on the back you're doing something on the back then you might struggle with it but we'll go and put it to the test and make sure it's working so we've got fold mower fold mower and those bits come down like that then we just got I'll tell you what let's disconnect that back trailer a minute because we don't need that turn on mower lower where's lower so why won't that let me lower it then Right, so normally, let's just disconnect that a minute. Because sometimes it helps just... Low, there it is. Lower mower. Sometimes it just glitches out a little bit and disappears. So this should make some nice swath. Yeah, and it is. Well, it cuts grass and it puts it in the swath. So all is good. Yeah, now it'll uh, raise up, all right. See all those blades going mental. But I was surprised I didn't notice the, oh yeah, we have got a bit of vibration on the PTO. Or have we? I can't really, it doesn't really see any difference. Cool. Nice new mower. Something new. I know we've got plenty of mowers, but it's a chrome. If you want a chrome mower, there it is. We got one. And this one we can see a lot more of what's going on. Yeah, that PTO's going mental. Yeah, nice mod. Right, so uh, next we have the slurry container. No, we haven't. We've got the chipper. I left the chipper over here, and that would have got forgotten about. So let's get the chipper out, ready to go. I think we ought to disconnect it from that other trailer. Means it, it's a little bit low. Whereas the draw hitch on the uh, the chipper, that's quite high. Right, so there we have the has has a has a well it says has a mat hack there. We're on the other. On the shop, it says Hazu Matt HM4300. Now we have got the unfold, so that drops that shoot down, and then we've got pipe out, and it does, it is directional with the top as well, where you can tilt it down, and that moves around quite fast. Got lights on it, got your indicators. I date reverse lights, no, no reverse light, no work lights on it. Just work lights on the tractor. Start it up. We just need a tree. Right, so we've got a bit of wood. Chuck it in there. It's gone. So what happened to that? Well, 
Oh, so we've got a bigger chunk now. Let's see if it goes anywhere this time. That's, uh, I didn't see any chippings come out of it. Might be a bit big for it. Yeah. Right, anyway, so obviously they're too big for it, but I still haven't seen any chippings come out of it. No. So that was a bit strange. And that one's stuck. Come on. No, nothing definitely came out. So that could be an issue. Is it all on? What the hell's going on? Fold, turn off, turn on. Yeah. But I definitely didn't see any chippings coming out of that. Anyway, we wasted enough time on it. Let me know if you have any problems or whether it was something I was doing or not doing. Right, moving on, we have the new slurry container. Now, this is just a field container for moving your slurry or your digestate and leaving it in your field so you can f fill up your tankers, well, your slurry tanks f directly from this. So there's not really a lot you do with it you just fill it up and that's your lot it costs 34,000 pounds to buy and 1734 pounds to lease minus three slots oh a bit of a snivel on today well let's look what you're doing 55,000 liters So yeah, it's coming up with slurry digest date. We'll have a bit of slurry. Fifty-five thousand litres. Whoa, and you can feel that weight. That's gotta be the heaviest thing. Whoa, yeah, whoa. You just knew that was gonna happen, so why did I continue? I just knew. So you can, no, it'll be all right, I'll make it. And no, you won't make it. All right, back in a minute. Right, so we found out that yes, it's you're going to lose the load if you go too quick. And again, I wasn't going that quick, but like I said, oh, there's a lot of weight. Yeah. And we should be able to refill straight from here into there. And we can. However, noise is being made and it still shows 55 states. Oh, it's because we're combined now, isn't it? Yes, of course. So, yep, yeah, that works. You can fill up your slurry with that. That's not an issue. So you could even use this in the fields if you, if you were using a big field because you can still use this slurry, can't you? Yeah, you can and fill it at the same time. Right, so moving on, we can easily tip that, no problem. So now we have the Lizard GP140 SPBK and there's three different variants for this trailer. Now this one is obviously the vehicle 
transporter which is pretty good it's got the built-in ramp there now this one it's got that worn patina on it which uh, I think it looks pretty cool rather than looking brand spanking new there's eight they're all eight thousand nine hundred pounds to buy and they are four hundred fifty three pounds to lease minus eight slots um, and I found it quite stable when I had vehicles on the back there so where's me tractor? There's there it is. Let's grab the tractor. So yeah, that's the first one, which is the vehicle picker upper. And yeah, you've got the hoses there as well. And then to let's get the camera in view. Dane Pianel, and it just tilts back down like that nice but again pretty detailed stuff let's get that off there not sure how much it will take on that we'll have to try that out weight wise but it looks pretty ro robust a bit of kit anyway so we shouldn't have a issue with it right so next we go on to the rain bale picker upper now it has got it in the shop if you want the extra if you want the auto baler auto loader not auto bloody baler then it does cost you extra 500 pounds but you've got the operating position and then transporting position and it doesn't really show you a lot on there now you have got now when I was moving this around I wasn't doing a lot it's always the same you think well what is that doing and I can't see it doing anything we've got tension belts on there but if you're using the loader it says you don't need them as the bales will stay on there now this one is the round baler hopefully so if we put it alongside it should take 22 bales operating position Ah, and we have got floater around us. So this is the first floating auto bailer we have. So you can unload pretty easy. Unload bales. Yeah, that's unloaded because it's then it, now if you want to strap them down you can strap them down just like that so that's a pretty nice feature I like that so the rain baler one works no problems now the square one does take 18 now the great thing with this is the unload if you can unload it that quick it, that's pretty awesome And of course with them floating like that you can stack them more on top of each other so we're in the operating position and this one should be exactly the same that's a shame because I thought you could get another stack on there I know it is getting up I suppose but even so another stack would have been nice but yeah you can float those off again drop them where you need to unload bales there unload there it is now it's unloaded lower loading platform 
what the fuck then I think that's just glitching out because it's a a trader as well operating position yeah so we go to operating position that should just pick them all up again proper quick auto loading I know people some people say well it's a cheat and it's like well you don't have to use it it's there if you want it and it makes picking up bales a lot easier so let's see if we can drop those onto the trailer again because it was saying that you cannot attach yeah it doesn't recognize they're there because they're floating so you unload the bales unload it again there it goes and then we should be able to put on straps yep there it is but yeah that's nice nice trailers I like them pretty cool right then we've got some palatables and the first one is a cheap workshop for doing modifications to your vehicles and your implements so this was three grand and it's minus six slots and it just looks like your basic garage basically you can't go in there or anything it's just there to look look pretty like doors you can't open them but obviously you've got the vehicle options there so you can do your full customization do what you want to your vehicles so yeah that's a nice little cheap one three grand bargain then we come on to the next one which is a new shed this is twelve and a half thousand pounds nice detailed mod you got all the guttering on there thing a lot of these buildings they look so realistic they really do the detailing on them is absolutely amazing but this is like a half and half where you have got open area for the large machinery however the height of the doors might be a problem for some of the larger equipment we got where are we but minus five slots and it is a five pound maintenance a day then we go on we have our solar plant now this is hundred and twenty thousand pounds to buy and this is another detail is awesome on this you've got all the power lines for the um, not the power lines all the, the support poles for the power going out and obviously power coming in on the solars but another detailed mod looks awesome Now this generates on easy £560 an hour, on normal £420 an hour, and on hard it's £280 an hour, minus 19 slots, so it is quite a few slots really for the amount of money that you're getting back off it, you may as well just have some solars, because they do what, £160 an hour for each one. Then we have a new um cow cow barn so this is the water and basically you've got inside outside so you've got the pasture here i didn't actually put any animals in here open the door and then where out is the animal dialogue i thought it was there I had a quick look at this earlier and I'm sh sh have I got this round the wrong way then? Or was it there? What is that one there then? Because here we have... Ah, there's the animal dialogue. Right, let's get a couple of them in. And then, yeah, we've got a feeding trough and then your straw this is a straw point here I haven't checked this but I'm pretty sure that's the straw there and then you've got the water over there over on that trough 
and then you come in for this is where the milking gets done well where the milk comes through not where the milking gets done the milking gets done out here cows come in and they get milked and then it comes through this side then we come into this other little office and here we got a switch on the wall for open windbreak net where you can see the windbreak net out there so we hit that you can hear it moving now you can see the netting opens it all up for a more open feel the same again detailing is amazing that does look that wood does look realistic but I do prefer it when they put a little bit of water or a little bit of straw next to that point like if that's the straw point put a little bit of straw on the floor and then we know it is same with there with the water they normally have a puddle on some of the other maps there is a puddle next to it it's brilliant little markers to show you what's going going on so this is your milk isn't it that's your milk so yeah it's it's a uh, 150 grand to buy minus 12 slots and it does hold uh 200 cows and we have got our slurry point just out here and then the manure point is over here there's a the manure point there and then we have got a gate to come into the field so yeah nice little pasture it's nice to have something different so you don't have to keep using the same old stuff all the time it just makes things a bit different mix it up a little bit so that is your lot for today disappointed that we haven't got any new uh, maps but the giants um 09 giants island 09 disappeared off the mod hub again today as did farming legends now those two disappeared and i thought oh perhaps they're coming out today but nothing now, this has happened before they might even appear back on tomorrow um Ophiel farm is still on the mod hub list i came back on the mod hub list yesterday so and it is saying it's like seven days for it to be testing at the moment so it's quite a so it could even be not ready till next week you never know but there you go right well that is it for today i hope you enjoy the episode and if you have don't forget to give me a like and if you haven't already subscribed and want to see more content then hit the subscribe button and you will never miss any new videos being uploaded uh, i think this is video for new mods number 71 so that i've done every mod what's ever come out for fs19 i've done and look at the backlog we created there <laughs> righto well thanks for watching till the next time goodbye